I remember one day walking in the studio and I had my whole team, my writers, my engineer, we all come in the studio and everybody's just feeling themselves like, yo, we number one, it's 12 weeks. That are, and I looked at everybody, I was like, yo, okay, the party's over. And everybody looked at me like, huh? My brother, everybody's like, yo, we got, we got, we got to follow up. We got to follow up like this. Okay, we got here now. Y'all don't want it to go away. Now nah, we got to follow up. We get we we got the attention of the industry. We got the attention of the of radio. But we got to follow up. So let, now it's time we got to go harder. We y'all thought I was crazy before this. Y'all really gonna think because I, I never slept. So y'all really think I was not sleeping. Now you you really about to experience why I don't sleep. And from that moment. We went crazy, bro. I we love went, that you said yo, that. Yo, we went crazy. Like, there was times where, we, like, you could come roll to our studio and see the lights on at 3 in the morning and come back at at 8 o'clock in the morning, the lights still on, come back. Like, it was it was go time. It wasn't no playing around because my whole mentality was we got to follow up. You can't just jab somebody and, and not throw that hook. So we got to follow up. Let me ask you this. Up. How scared are you in this moment? Or is it just – Pure adrenaline. You you just so confident mm. at this point. You know, yo, I brought home a championship. I know I can do this again. And then I know I can three P. Adrenaline. My adrenaline was 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 rushing and my I, my my brain was full of ideas. So so and so I, so and, you're and not you're not the, the, the fear of of losing it is that's nowhere in this 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 scenario right here? No. Don't it's no strictly I, adrenaline. I had no fear, and I, but, but I had ideas, right? And my ideas was, I knew that I had, I had developed my sound. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew the boy's mind, sonically, I had found something that was a far gone from early New Jack Swing, far gone from what I was doing with Diddy and Gina Thompson and all of that. Even doesn't even sound like Mary. I was real good at giving an artist a sound right, but still staying true to my sound, I knew I found something. And so I was like, and I, and, I, and I knew what it was. So the idea was like, okay, in order for this sound to go around the world, because you got to remember, I wasn't an artist, so producers were still artists. Correct. A lot of producers were still artists. That's why you knew them. I had to start stamping my stuff. I started, I started saying Dark Child. I started tagging it so people would know that I did it. I was going to ask you where that, that name come from. That was my way to brand it. That was my way to brand it myself on records. And I had the artist do it or I would do it, whatever. Um, but, but let me tell you what happened, though. So the idea was this. If I just give this sound to one artist, it won't, it won't translate around the whole world the way I need it to. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So, like, if I gave just that sound to Brandy and it does really well, like the boy's mind does really well, that doesn't mean the boy's mind does really well in Puerto Rico. So who's going to get, who can I work with that's going to make that sound translate in Puerto Rico? And here comes Jennifer Lopez. Who's going to make that sound translate in an older demographic, but in a diva form in the, in the biggest female greatest female artist that I've ever worked with of all time, Whitney Houston. Who can I give this sound to that's used to doing ballads and we know her as ballads all the time? Tony Braxton. Who can I give this sound to? You think what I'm saying? So, and now what happens is I have an army of people taking my sound and pushing it all around the world. I have an army. They don't even know they're my army. Absolutely. They don't even know they might, they, they literally, my, all these artists are pushing this sound and it's going all around the world. And so now people are saying we need a dark child sound all around the world. Even when I go, I go to London to work with the Spice Girls. I go to, I go all over the world. They want, they want, I go to Japan where people don't even know I had one of the biggest songs in Japan by an artist named Hikata Utada. And we did 10, and we did 10 million on it. Like people don't even know that. And it wasn't even English. It was all Japanese. But that's what happened. The army, the army went out, and as they, as these songs grew with all these incredible artists, it allowed that sound to grow around the world. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. 
truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.